Hello, my name is Andrew Owens. I am here today with Dante Volpe to present a short video specifically designed for the 2024 Society of California Archaeology's 58th Annual Meeting in Riverside, California. The video is part of the 2024 Seafarer poster presentation, New Technology in Underwater Archaeology. It highlights recent seafarer technology, the CVAC 3000, a self-contained underwater dredging system currently in testing. Archaeologists agree, underwater cultural heritage is in great threat of destruction. We must respond and rescue submerged resources from the ravages of time and a changing climate. At Seafarer, and as most archaeologists might agree, we feel that technology is one of our greatest archaeological assets. Therefore, CVAC 3000 technology will hopefully assist our quest to salvage what little remains of our submerged cultural history. Specifically, the new CVAC 3000 seeks to untether archaeological dredges from the surface. That way, archaeologists may investigate sites previously beyond the reach of surface supply dredges while maintaining strict and repeatable context controls. Seafarer is a Florida underwater exploration company that custom designs and builds state-of-the-art, archaeologically-driven technology. Here, we showcase the CVAC 3000, a self-contained, diver-operated excavation dredge. The CVAC 3000 is designed for deep sites and current scenarios that preclude standard surface dredging equipment. Often, traditional archaeological dredges are only suited to ideal operating conditions. The CVAC 3000 removes these constraints as it allows divers to dredge and screen sediment without a surface tether. The CVAC 3000 is powered by two lithium ion batteries which can be removed and replaced underwater. The dredge weighs 120 pounds out of water but only 35 pounds in water and is easily deployed and retrieved with two divers. Lift bags and a lift air supply are provided so that diver air supply is not required for retrieval. Currently, the CVAC 3000 is under trial development. Seafarer hopes to fully test the CVAC 3000 in the coming months and deploy it on a 16th century shipwreck excavation, which is too deep for standard dredge applications. 